Good morning, everybody, and welcome to week two of Design Forward. Um, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things to get us started this week. Um, the first of which is um, it's been so great to see everybody uh, participating and commenting and annotating and doing activities, but also commenting and responding to each other. Um, we couldn't be more grateful for the energy and the collaboration and conversation that you're bringing um, to the module. Second, I wanted to just mention it's come up in a few people's um, sh things that they've shared in the last week, um, the topic of artificial intelligence and AI and generative AI. And I wanted to just point out that we have a new module in Design Forward called the AI Challenge that is focused on this topic. It's obviously related to tech and tools, but we felt like it deserved its own treatment um, given um, everything that's been exploding in that field um, and in that area in the last few years. So up at the top of this page in the menu, if you go to the flexible, actually, if you go back to the main DF page, so leave this module and go to the flexible modules, you'll see the AI challenge. Um, in terms of this week, um, I want to I want to throw out, I think, two, maybe three words to maybe keep in mind as you are um, exploring uh, the module this week. The first of which I'm going to throw out is this idea of sort of positionality when it comes to technology. And what that means is I'm going to encourage you to really think for yourself about what do you value um, in the classroom, in your pedagogy, in um, the courses that you teach, what do you think is important, and what position can and should technology play in that. Um, the idea being that this is really and can be a personal choice for you. Um, and it's, I think, always going to be most effective and most resonate most deeply with your students when that's clear. And related to that, and the real big theme of this week's topic, is one of my favorite words when it comes to um, the overall conversation about digital pedagogy, which is the question of intention. Um, so once you've really kind of figured out that positionality, what is, um, how do you choose technology? How can you always be thinking about the use of technology with intention? So not adopting something because it's what everybody's doing or because it's what you've heard about or because you feel pressure to use it, but rather for reasons that you yourself have set out um, that you want to try and achieve. Um, sometimes that could be exploration or, um, or um, you might just be trying something out. Like it's okay for that intention to be one of, um, of, a, of an exploratory or imaginative nature. So it's not so much that it needs to be really formal. It's more that it just needs to be something you have deliberately thought about. Um, and the third word that I'll throw out there, which is one of my favorite words when we just talk about teaching in general, um, people who've been around me know it, is transparency. So I want to encourage you whenever you can to convey with your students that positionality and that intention. Um, I've found over the years in my work with students that they appreciate understanding not just what they have to do, but why they have to do it and, and how you've gone about choosing those things. Um, so those three words, positionality, intention, and transparency, are three that I just ask you to maybe keep front of mind this week as you explore the module. Other than that, enjoy yourselves. Remember that we do wrap up at the end of this week. It's going to go by fast. Um, you will be hearing from us early next week. I'm asking you to reflect a little bit on your participation and also to give us any feedback you have. So take notes if you have any things you'd like to share with us. And once again, thank you so much for everything that you've brought um, to this program.